And I'm Rubinana Kermi, and as you can read by the title, so today we'll be playing a fun game. So the game is couple questioning and answering to each other. So here are 20 questions inside this little box, and we will be picking each at a time. And the one who picks will be questioning your partner. So the game is all about knowing each other well and knowing their opinion. So yeah, let's get into the video. So do you want to pick first? Yep. Yeah. I'll go first. So. Okay. So the first question is. Okay. What would you do if you and your partner would find thousand dollars? Would rather save it or spend it for a nice vacation? Uh, if I would find one thousand dollars, then I'm not a person like who wants to like spend money everywhere and there. I okay. save it, and I think it would be a good idea to save it because it's hard to earn one thousand dollars. That you is my answer. Then you want to save it and not spend it not recklessly spend it. like right away go for a vacation i like to save it yeah and i wish i would find one thousand dollars though now it's my turn right so this is question number two nice okay <clears throat> who is the person you can trust and can talk to about anything <laughs> it's you of course because uh, uh, I trust you yeah we are too close and you're the only one who understands me better than anyone I guess girlfriend uh -huh. so moving on to the next question so, so it's your turn yes, it's my this is question turn. number three so, okay the question is Okay. Do you believe in second chances? If yes, why? Yes, I do believe okay. in second chances. Why? Because me. I think not everyone is perfect. Not everyone can do things correctly. There will be a lot of mistakes you will be doing as a human being. And obviously you will need second chance to improve it and uh, make your life more uh, easier because you will learn from your mistakes. So yes. there should be definitely second chances in order to improve your life. Ah. Okay. Fourth question. What's the craziest thing you would do for me? For me. Craziest thing you would do for me. So well, the craziest thing I would do would be uh, like and she loves chocolate so I would build a building full of chocolates and like I wish that would be real I wish it but would be totally crazy yeah that would be craziest thing you do for me because you don't let me eat chocolates because I'm getting fatter and that would be yes that would be craziest like buy me why don't you buy it just buy me a building full of chocolates Someday. Someday. So is it my turn? Yes. Whew. He's quite uh, shy, not shy, but he don't like to talk much. That's why you guys complain a lot. But you need to speak a lot, Ayush. This is a suggestion from this one. I'm you need to take. Like, I, I don't want to be so much talkative. Why are you picking? What's oh, <laughs> Okay. What was the first thought you had when you first saw me? First. <clears throat> so when I first saw her, I was very surprised and uh, like she was like a boss. She she was very 
like angry all the time and used to beat everyone, my friends as well. So at first uh, I was very like I didn't like her. I was uh, very angry by seeing her activities. So at first I he basically didn't, didn't like me. Yeah, I didn't like her. So it's my turn. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about sharing your passport with your partner? So for me, it's important that your partner is trusting you and your partner is comfortable with whatever you do. So I let my passport to be shared because that way there won't be any complications and there's nothing to be hidden from you because you don't do anything wrong and um, sharing passport is just a way to tell your partner that uh, you can trust me and uh, we, I won't be doing something terrible to you and that's that's good I think to share password with the partner it's healthy you will you will balance your relationship that way yes yeah. of course is it my turn yes is it se seventh question I think yes no, it's six. yes it's seventh it's seventh one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's six. Yeah, I guess six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. It's seven. seven. If you could jump into a pool full of something, what it would be? If you literally want to jump in a pool, like what kind of pool do you want it to be? Full of spawns. Spawns? Yeah. Okay. I would love to do gymnastics in that pool. Yeah, that's a brave answer. Okay. Yeah. It's, okay, it's I, I, I'll do it for you and you do it for me. Yeah. Okay. So, the question is When did you realize that you were falling in love with me? Oh, oh, is it? Oh, I thought the question was for you. Okay. Mm. I think I realized when I first listened to his song, like his, I didn't like, like him or anything else. Some day, one day, so one day, uh, one of my brother came and said, oh, he's good, good at singing. And he randomly like put earphones in my head. And then I suddenly listened to his song and I was like shocked that at so young age he was singing so good and that was the first ever time like I was touched by some kind of song that I listened so uh, his voice was angelic so I think his so which voice was the song? which was the song? Summer. so that song made me fall in love with him and that's how our journey started actually it's your turn now When was the first time you broke the law? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do. Just say it. If so you have I, uh, like when I <clears throat> I'm driving uh, my bike uh, bike scooter. So I have broke many times, I guess. Yeah, he have, he actually breaks every single day because we haven't gotten our license. He has, but he hasn't gone to pick it up. So he breaks the law every single day. This game is quite fun though. I'm liking it. Okay. What are you most thankful for and why? Um, this is quite... I'm thankful for my mom for like making me who I am today. And my loved ones who care for me. And yeah, so basically all the positive energy I have been getting, I am thankful for that. And also you guys who have been supporting me from like day one. So yeah, I think uh, love and support that I get from my loved ones is to be thankful for. Yeah. Yes, okay. It's
What memory of ours do you never want to forget? Of ours. There are so many memories like... But like particular one memory that you never want to erase. Okay. It's, it was uh, the situation when uh, there was Nepal Banda, I guess. Oh, and yes. We two, <coughs> we two were in cycle and uh, I was riding the cycle. And From so where? In From where? Of, in front of uh, me and uh, we, <coughs> guess, we traveled from Kupandol to... Not Chakra Kupandol, Kupan. from my home. Okay, from uh, home. Um, you Sanipal. picked me up from my home. Yes. And then, like, you drive me, like, to Chakrapal. I think it's almost 10 kilometers. Yes. Yeah. And that was, like, quite yeah. memorable. It yeah, that's quite fun. memorable for me as well. So it's my turn, I guess. Oh, yeah? So you, you are holding it, so you can pick it up. Oh yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. What's the things you would like to change about yourself? Okay. <laughs> so um, I'm quite talkative and I know like many of you like drop comments like saying you're too talkative, let somebody speak. Yeah, that's my problem. So I'd like to change that and I don't want to be quite sensitive. Like I'm quite se sensitive yes. to everything. Like, uh, like I can like easily get hurt and I can easily cry. So I'm quite sensitive and quite talkative. So I would like to change those things. I want to be stronger and less talkative. That's the thing I would like to change for now. Yes, and do not be afraid of anything. Yeah, I'm, I, and that means I'm quite yeah. sensitive. Like I'm scared of speed, anything. Speed, height. Not with the um, like uh, you know animals and insects, but height, speed, everything. I'm scared of darkness. Okay. So next question I'm picking is sound by word. Does any song remind you of me? If yes, which one? So the song is all I want. What is a relationship deal breaker for you? For me, it's uh, I think being dishonest and like doing something from behind. Like it's probably anything, not just cheating, but something you do behind your partner, not letting your partner know, would be your deal breaker in a relationship for me. Yeah, that's my answer. So it's this is my turn. Yeah. How long do you see our relationship lasting? Forever. <laughs> if you don't answer forever, I would kill you right away. Forever. Yeah, of forever. We will try not like we can't promise for yeah. everything, right. but for now, I think we are in love and we will be in love. We think, we, we, we would like to think that our future lies for forever. So, yes. yeah. Basically, we say forever. So, it's my turn. Yeah. And even if someday something happens, I know you guys will support both of us. And, and we don't want that days to come, but we don't want to like make a commitment right okay. away. If you are in a bad mood, do you prefer to be left alone or have someone to cheer you up and why? So that's quite, um, like for me, it's like I don't want to be left alone, but I don't want my partner to talk to me. I just want him to be there, like being silent, just by my side, but don't want to like um, put his words. I don't want him to leave. So it's two emotions running at the same time and I need space. That means I want him to be there but not talking to me, not being, uh, you know, more um, questioning me and 
basically i i have mixed emotions so i want uh, some space but not be left out so that's what i mean i don't know if you get it or not but i feel that way so right of course okay when you were little what did you want to be and did you become one now so when i was small i wanted to be a singer but uh, i started dancing at uh, class 5 i guess and uh, so uh, after um, SLC. after sec i joined astha kala kendra and uh, became more interested no. yes i became more interested in dancing and i learned uh, dancing i guess for 3 years and uh, singing was also my pa <coughs> passion but it is it right changed. now as well i yeah. think no he he has become a singer now as well but not professionally he does sing but like he's more into dancing yes. right now yes. for I'm now more into dancing than singing yeah and definitely check out our second channel as our profession yes, got involved right yes. now so we have our second channel aish and rubina where we upload our dance choreographies so definitely check out guys link in description and cards over here so the next question oh you need yes, to sir, it's my <sighs> i think this is 18th question we have two more left here yeah What do you like the best about me? Okay. The best about him is he is very supportive. Like whatever I do, he always supports and uh, uh because he and me are quite similar, uh, we understand each other more and whenever we have hard times, we speak uh, and it's very easy to speak to him and convince him which I like the most about him. because uh, in relationship you must have good communication and a good communicator and which he is so i think that's the best quality and that's something i like about him okay so is it my turn yeah if you could go back in time to any moment what moment would you go to and why So if I get a chance to travel and go back to my past I would want to change my younger self because I was very careless very living very prestigious life and uh, I I was very spoiled at that time so I would want to change myself why are you moving your legs it's my habit but that that won't look good so, so Yes, uh, that would be my answer to your question. Yeah, so the last one. Did we answer all the questions? Did we? Yes, I guess. Would you love me again if I didn't look this way? I mean, as I said, I fell in love with his voice, not his face. At the time, I didn't even like uh, know him. I just had a trust on him because his voice was good and yes he was quite not my type of person at the same time but because his voice and his song was so good I fell in love with him so I would not go for anybody's look I would still look for somebody's quality than his appearance so that would be my answer and the question is done and this was a fun game to play yes and uh, definitely if you guys are couples like if you have your partner then you should definitely try these games because this is quite interesting and fun to play with your partner and we had really nice time playing yes. this game so yeah guys that was all for today this game was very really fun to play and i hope you enjoyed watching this video and guys please like share and subscribe our channel and uh, comment what you would like to see further and uh, yeah that was all for today and so, i hope you enjoyed yeah hope you enjoyed this video and if you are new to this channel what you should subscribe our channel and don't forget to like share, share and, and comment, comment.
So we'll be back again with next video soon. Yes. And that was all for today. So okay. yeah, guys. Till then, stay blissful and, and flush. Flush some. Flush some, but it's under the. It's still